Now, there is nothing more demoralizing than standing in front of an audience and realizing that no one is really listening. It's like a gut punch to the soul that just hits you right in the solar plexus and lays you out. Well, there's probably a lot of reasons that go into why that happens. But in this quickie video, I'm calling them quickies now, by the way, in this quickie video, I'm going to give you one big one that I think will make a massive difference. Let's do it by looking at two guys that I'm sure you're more than familiar with, and that is Steve Jobs and Bill Gates, both amazing guys, brilliant innovators, you know, masters of their field. But in one respect, Steve Jobs was just far superior to Bill Gates, even Bill Gates acknowledged it. And that was in presentation skills and public speaking. Bill Gates was okay, but Steve Jobs was a master. And here's the reason why. You see, Bill Gates, because he was an engineer and because he wasn't really a skilled public speaker, when he get, got up to give his presentations, he would focus on the data and the details. He would tell people what was in a product and how it worked and all of those kinds of things, all fascinating, but it didn't fully capture people's imaginations. Whereas when Steve Jobs spoke, he approached it from a completely different angle. When he unveiled the iPod, for instance, he didn't talk about the innovation behind the circuitry and the gigabyte storage. What he told people was if you buy the iPod, it's going to give you 1,000 songs in your pocket. Simple. Everybody got it. And that is the big difference and one of the reasons why people listened when Steve Jobs spoke because they found him engaging. And here's the thing. When you're giving your presentations and speeches, don't just give the facts. Facts nowadays are easy to find. You go onto Wikipedia and you can find pretty much any fact that has ever existed in the world since the history of time. Facts are easy to find. We are overloaded with facts. People don't need more data and more detail. So don't just give them the facts. Give them the meaning behind the facts. Imagine you've got a bunch of Lego, put it together to form a picture or a, a figure and present people with that so they get it. That is why people listen to other speakers, is they know that they're going to learn something fascinating, something of interest, something they didn't know before. They're going to get an interpretation, a meaning behind the facts that they've pre been presented with. That is worth listening to. Loads, loads more that goes into that. Make sure you head over to Nail My Speech to check it out and I will see you in the next video.